I've always been fascinated about mechanical and electrical engineering and how something works. I try to envision things in my mind when I see things, like this cash drawer. It's a simple everyday item that we all see. And if you're like me and you like electronics and mechanical things, you're thinking along the same lines. How does that work? Because there's many ways to put something together like this. I could probably come up with at least five different ways that you could latch this door electronically. And um, I wonder what the best one is or what they chose. So let's take a look at how this is built. I'll show you how it works real quick. It just works on a, a serial port. And it also has this key. In case you lock yourself out electronically, you can still use this button and it's job simple it holds money cash so anyway let's take a closer look at this cash drawer and see how it ticks see how it works you got any ideas you got it figured out let's see if you're right <laughs> Let's go ahead and open the drawer. We can use our key. It's like an emergency open, you know. Look at there. Got a tray. So nothing special here. There's cash drawers all over the world. Millions of them, you know. I even have some, look at there, Canadian money. Let's see if we can see the mechanics if we remove this shelf. Drawer, I guess it's called, right? So on the back, we can see it has some guider wheels and track. It has a catch system for the, the little claw that keeps it cl closed on here. And this little piece here rings a bell down in there. Let me lift this up and see if you can see down in there. You see that? There's a little circuit board back in there. Not much in there, really. There's a couple more rollers there for our drawer to slide on. We can remove the bottom cover. Let's flip it over and take a look at that. Here's what the back looks like. There's a plug here for a small DC 12 volt transformer and the cable that comes out for the serial port connection it comes out as like a 25 pin but uh, i had to reduce it down to a nine pin for a com port for the pc so this is a ecd 232 cash drawer reorder number 25-2232 So here's a look from the bottom and the drawer is still in it and this mech moves this arm which pops it open. This little bell is, you know, like a little uh, warning that, hey, somebody's in your cash drawer, you better go check it out. So it rings every time it opens. Even if you try to open it slowly, it'll still ring that bell. So it's quite simple after all. I kind of figured it would be. You know, the simpler you can make it, the cheaper you can make it. So starting here, this little catch on the drawer pulls this, which rings the bell. And this spring ensures that when the catch lets go, which is here, this is a catch that grabs onto the drawer, this spring makes sure that the drawer is forced forward and to do this, there's a mecha mechanical, electrical um, magnet here, like a solenoid, and it pulls in, and it pulls this latch open so that it lets go. That's all it is. And the 12-volt transformer that you plug in here powers that. 
the parallel port, or the, I'm sorry, the serial port that comes in here into this little board is controlled with this transistor. So when it finds a signal from the parallel port, it uh, sends energy to the solenoid. There's a little micro switch here that um, detects when the drawers open. Very simple. So not too many surprises here at all, really. And to send a signal down this wire to pop the drawer is not very difficult at all. You can do it on the computer and I'll show you how to write to the COM port. And you can do it electrically as well. You could jumper this here with a battery. Let's try that. Let's close this and try it. So if I follow my wires in from this wire for the computer, it's these two here. One's ground and one's a signal. I have a five volt battery pack here that I could just um, stick in these holes and see if we can pop the drawer. Yep. It is upside down, so the mechanism is a little bit stiff. It needs the gravity, you know, pulling the other way. But uh, yeah, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how you can write to the COM port and send the signal down this wire. So I'm on my Windows 7 machine here and I thought I would show you how to access the COM ports so that we could open this cache drawer. And I have the cache drawer plugged into COM1, which is serial port 1. So a way that we can do that is go to our search tool in Windows 7 and type in CMD, and that's the command line tool. And then we can type in commands. Now one of the simplest commands that you can use is echo, E-C-H-O. And echo is like a print command, and you can send print to different devices. Let's send the word hello. We need a greater sign in here, and then we're going to type in our device name, which is COM1. Now, sending the word hello should open the cache drawer. We need what's called a pulse sent to the cache drawer. And even though the word hello isn't nothing secret, it's enough to send a pulse. I think it has to be at least 100 milliseconds long for that thing to open. So let's listen. There you go, it just popped the drawer. So you could write this small batch file and then save it and then when you want to open your cache drawer, just call the batch file. And oftentimes, like POS software will have a place in it where you can give the command that's needed to pop the drawer and that's where you could put this. So it's really simple, really. So now that you know how this cache register works, is it close to what you envisioned before you've seen the insides of it? Let me know in the comments below, and thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.